Hi, hello, welcome back to Tamil Rummer. So today uh, we are going to compare the similar words between Tamil and Japanese and we got the Fuka back. And uh, in this video we are going to compare 10 words guys. So the first word, I'm gonna tell her in Tamil, she's going to guess and then he'll tell me in uh, Japanese, I'm gonna guess. It's like a game. So the first word, Payan. Payan. Can you guess Payan? Mm, can you give me some hint? Okay, so uh, we use the word Payan to call a male, male, but yeah, male, someone. To call to call someone. To call someone. Can you say that again? Payan. Payan. Mm, I think it sounds like boy. Yeah? In Japanese, it means a uh, little boy, small boy. Yeah. In Tamil, we use payan to call the small boy. So, what is how do you call in Japanese? Boya. Boya. Payan? Boya. Oh, that's similar. Okay. So, can you tell me a word in Japanese? I will try to guess in Tamil. Okay. Karas. Again? Again, please. Karas. Karas? Karas. Uh, what is it? What, what kind of word is it? Can you give me a clue? Mm, it is a uh, kind of animal, especially birds, some birds. Ah, it's a bird. Um, kara su. Uh, we have a bird in ka, so we call it ka ka. Ka ka. That is crow. Is that correct? Exactly. Crow. It's crow. Okay, so kaka? Karasu. Okay, nice. Okay, so next word in Tamil. Kasu. 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 Mm, oh, a little difficult. Mm. Can you give me some? Okay, so we use kasu to buy things. I think it's money. In Japanese, kane. Kane. In Tamil, kasu means money. Oh, kane. Kane, kasu. Can you tell me the word in Japanese next? Sode. Sode. Um, what? Can you give me a clue? Mm, it's a kind of clothes. Clothes. Again, please, the word. So they. Clothes. So they. Is it a uh, shirt? Exactly. Ah, in, in Tamil, we have a cloth, satai. Say, for example, satai. So you use. So they. Sode to uh, mention the shirt. Yes. Mm, sode satai. Okay, so the next word in Tamil Karupu. Karu ipu. Karupu. <laughs> oh, can you give me a clue? Okay. Say for example, it's it's color something like me. <laughs> oh, mm? <laughs> color? something that i have <laughs> i think it's black and yeah. in japanese we call kuro ah. kuro what does it mean kuro it's black ah, in tamil for black we use karupu kuro karupu okay so can you tell me a japanese word katai 
กระจาย what what does it mean uh, no, I I mean uh, can you give me a clue can you give me a clue okay mm, like กระจาย okay um, in Tamil we use กระจาย to talk about the hard hard wood hard wood and also we use uh, to talk about something very hard something very tight so we use the word kadinamana kattayana kattai kadinamana kattai so it means something difficult hard is it correct yes it's exactly we say kattai kattai like kattai means what in japanese hard ah kattai means hard in tamil kattai kettiyana means hard Yeah, kadina mana keti ana means hard. Okay, so the next word in Tamil, kir, kir, kir. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like kir in yeah. Japanese. It means cut, cut some, cut something. So in Japanese, kir means cut. In Tamil, kir means scratch. If you use your nail to scratch, oh, kiru, he he, am I na kiri ta? So when you use the uh, sharp things to scratch, we call it kiru. But in Japanese, kiru means cut. Cut. Kiru, kiru, but cut, scratch. Yeah, it's similar. Okay, so can you tell me the next word in Japanese so that I can guess? あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日あの日 So we have the word "anneki," means that day, last week, last month. When you uh, talk about uh, the specific day in the past, we use "anneki." Anneki, I went to the coffee shop. Anneki, I saw you. Means like that day I saw you. That day I went to a coffee shop. So anneki. Anohi. Anohi. What does what does mean? That day. Wow, anneki that day. Wow, nice. So the next word in Japanese, can you tell me? Okay. Chichi oya. Chichi oya. Chichi oya. <laughs> oh, what? Um, can you give me a clue? Okay. Hmm. It is a kind of family, family members. Ah, can I uh, have family members? It's not Tamil. It's it's my neighbor language. That is Malayalam. In Malayalam, they use achan, achan, achan to call the father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is it correct? Yes, it's father. So how do you call a father in Japanese language? Chichioya. Ah, uh, in Malayalam, achan, 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 achan. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's kind of achan, achan, acha, achan. Yeah. Okay. So the next two word in Tamil, I'm gonna tell you. Chinna, sinna. Chinna or sinna? Chinna. Chinna. Can you guess? Uh, can you give me a clue? Okay, chinna. We use chinna to call uh, something like something not big. Hi hi. Ah, I think chisa na is in Japanese small. Chisa na. Chisana. Chisana. What does it mean? Small. Ah, uh, in Tamil, chinna. Chinna means small, a uh, little, little things. Yeah, that's nice. So we have compared ten words. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I will try to find more words uh, that is similar to Tamil and Japanese. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.